All right. On the right, we have an EJ255, EJ257. Out of the Outback XTs, the WRX STIs. Um, this is a Phase 2 block, I believe. And on the left, we have an EJ253, Phase 2, out of uh, 07. 07 Outback or something like that. But yeah, they're about all the same. Um, and over here, we have an EJ205, EJ20. Um, this is out of the 2.0 WRXs from 99, I think, to 2005. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, that's when they were EJ20s. And here's some differences that I can see between them. On the 255, 257s, the 255s and 257s are virtually the same except for the pistons, as far as I know. Um, you have a cylinder support up here at the top. This is about four millimeters thick. It doesn't go about all the way back. You know, it's just uh, kind of like a flake of aluminum here. Just a little piece to give it a little extra support on the top and the bottom. About eight millimeters thick on the cylinder walls. And the EJ253 is about 8 millimeters thick too. Um, they honestly look just about the same except for that support. And the EJ205 is 10 millimeters thick. This is out of, out of a turbocharged WRX. I don't know what generation, but yeah. So 10 millimeters thick cylinder walls on that one. 8 millimeters, 8 millimeters, just missing the cylinder support. Now let's compare pistons. This is out of a EJ257, I believe. Um, yeah, has a lower compression height, more dish volume. I believe it's the same thickness. I don't have a tool to measure exactly how thick the center is, you know, from my finger under here. Wrist pin size is the same between all three of these guys. And here's the EJ253 piston right here. Uh, here, I'll put, a, I'll put them side by side so you can compare them. The ring lands look about the same, same thickness. Piston overall looks the same, the side skirt. It's about the same length, and this is just a visual comparison. The EJ253 piston actually looks a little smoother. You know, the, the dome supports right here. And the EJ257 just, I don't know, looks a little sharper. But. And then here's the EJ205. That's really gra gross and nasty, but... It does the job for this video. The side skirt length is uh, looks like a couple millimeters longer. The ring lands are a little thicker. Um, the weight seems to be a little more, you know, definitely a little more material here. Hmm. I wonder if I'd trust one of these pistons more. Here's the rod. Um, the rod lengths between all three of these engines are the same they all have the same size rods now the EJ255 and the 257s the rods are a little thicker you know definitely a little more robust it looks like here's the EJ205 the EJ205 and the EJ253 look just about the same yeah as you can see um, the caps are a little different no nope. No, they're not. Caps look the same, too. HA205. No, oh yeah, they are different. But, I did pull apart a JDM EJ205. Oh, there that goes. And the caps looked like this. And it, it might have been a 207, too. I don't know what internals they had in it. But yeah, here is, you know what you're getting when you buy a WRX STI engine. Um, pretty much the same, 
except for the cylinder supports. Cast pistons, same as all the rest. Uh, the cranks between the EJ250, here's an EJ253 crank. And oh, the other one, the one for the 257 is out in the shed, I'm not getting it. But here's an EJ20 crank. Um, I don't think there's anything special about these. They say the EJ257 cranks are nitrate steel or whatever, and then some people say that they're the same between all three of the engines. Looking at the quality of the internals, I wouldn't doubt that they are the same. You know, Subaru, like, really, in my opinion, started skimping. Um, the EJ25Ds, which are the phase before this 253 will kind of look more like this. I don't know how thick their cylinder walls are on the 25Ds, but the side supports are about, they look like the EJ205s, correct me if I'm wrong. And from forums I've read that the EJ25Ds, which are the DOHC non-turbo versions of, you know, the Forester 2.5s, the Outbacks, before this phase, uh, I heard they can take up to 400 horsepower when guys were turboing them. I don't know. That's probably exaggerated. But I don't know if the internals are any better. I haven't pulled one apart yet. But yeah, there you go. Uh, some visual, quick visual comparisons between the turbo blocks and the non-turbo block. Not much difference in my opinion. I mean, there's quite a few things that are different. You have an oil cooler on the turbo blocks that goes here. I would show you one, but I don't feel like digging it out. Um, yeah, oh yeah, you got a, a middle PCV vent along with one over here. So you have two of them on the turbo blocks. I'm not on the 205 though. And you have one on the non-turbo blocks. Um, different oil pans, different cranks, allegedly, even though they all got the same part number, I think. Yeah, whatever else. I'm sure that's all up for debate, but hopefully this clarifies something a little bit.